Hi and welcome everybody here from the cockpit of a 1978 Piper Aero with Omar, my flight instructor for the day. Uh, we're presently climbing uh, somewhere between uh, Zurich and Bern. And this plane has indeed uh, recently received an uh, extensive avionics upgrade. Uh, we have uh, two beautiful Garmin G5 screens here as a PFD and HSI. We have uh, the Garmin GTN 750XI as a navigator and uh, the G Garmin GFC 500 autopilot. Now uh, with this uh, kind of uh, equipment or combination of equipment you get uh, a feature that Garmin calls Smart Glide. And uh, I find it's a pretty, pretty cool feature in, uh, in case you happen to have an engine failure in a single engine piston aircraft. So what we'll be doing now is uh, demonstrate that for you, how it uh, works and how it looks like in, uh, in this Piper Aero, so uh, stay tuned for that. So if you happen to have an engine failure, what you'd usually do or what I tend to do is uh, I try to set the correct priorities by verbalizing fly, so to first fly the airplane, then nav and then come. And I'd I kind of try to to fill that a little with life. So fly means uh, initially wings level and pitch for for best glide speed, which is uh, 79 knots in here. And uh, then nav will be looking for for an emergency aerodrome or uh, an off off airport landing spot. And then under the com, you might be uh, tuning in 1215 and. Uh, informing ATC about the nature of your problem or maybe even informing your passengers and only then is where I try to uh, to take the checklist and uh, try to solve the problem. Uh, the smart light functionality of Garmin is uh, cool because it kind of guides you through those uh, those three steps the line up comp sequence there uh, which is uh, what we'll demonstrate now for you. So we're now flying here at, uh, as I said uh, somewhere between uh, Zurich and Bern and uh, suddenly we happen to have an engine failure now. So, as I said, first we go through the fly now. Tom sequence of fly, we pitch back for those uh, 79 knots. Initially wings level, and that's where I'll be uh, turning on the smart light function by hitting and uh, holding the direct two button. You get a small counter down there, and there it says activating glide. Smart glide active. Smart light Airport, active, so what Five Smart light did is automatically engage the autopilot. I didn't have it engaged before. It selects those uh, 79 knots for me, which is my best gliding speed, and automatically gave me a direct two to the nearest, or basically the only aerodrome that's in the uh, gliding range at the time, which is the aerodrome of Langenthal there. So without doing anything, you have fly and nav Airspeed. basically uh, covered for a moment. And then additionally, you could uh, now uh, one tw uh, hit 120.15 or uh, squawk 7700 with the push of just one button there. So that's where kind of you have some additional capacity to uh, take the checklist real quick to actually go into the checklist and uh, and get your checklist done and maybe try Airspeed. to restart Airspeed. the engine, which is what I'll doing. I'll be doing now. Try to turn on the fuel pump. Turn on. Uh, or switch the tanks here, we have the uh, mixture rich and everything. And that's the advisory now. The system is telling me that we are approaching the destination, so obviously at uh, some time you have to uh, disengage the system, which is what I'll be doing now. I'm turning off the autopilot now. So, and uh, you can manually deactivate, cancel glide, deactivate the glide if you needed to. We leave it engaged to, share, to to look what it does in case you don't react or you don't start to maneuver yourself. But I think the system already knows that the autopilot is disengaged for now. I could have left the autopilot engaged at this point as there will be a second annunciation in a short while. But as you might have noticed, this feature will only be useful if you're at a certain altitude where you have a chance of being within gliding range of an airport and there's some time for troubleshooting. By the way, in case you're wondering, if there is more than one airport available within gliding range when activating the system, you can manually choose your emergency landing aerodrome on the GTN. If no airport happens to be within your gliding range, the system will still engage in IAS mode with best gliding speed selected, but instead of GPS mode, the lateral mode will simply be roll mode and you will be seeing a message on the navigator informing you that there is no airport in range. 
And for those who just want to try the system during a simulation like we're doing here, your old flight plan before system activation will automatically be restored once you hit Cancel Glide. If you want to learn more, find a link to Garmin's introduction video in the video description. Maneuver and land. Okay, that's the. Hast du hast du Wetter gesehen oder? Miles. Nein, aber es ist Spieße, also es muss es nur fünf Sekunden machen, wenn man go around. Ist gut. So maneuver and land is what it tells me. I'm gonna go hit cancel glide now. Glide cancel. I will let the video play to the end of this exercise just in case you are wondering if I'm gonna make the runway or not. Please leave a thumbs up if you found this short video interesting and let me know your opinion in the comments. Is this a smart light feature something you want or do you consider it nothing more than a gimmick? I'm looking forward to the discussion. Enjoy the remaining bit of the film, bits of the conversation there will be in Swiss German. Hope you don't mind. Thanks for watching and as always many happy landings out there. Aber ich glaube, ich lasse mal noch schnell das Gier. Ich schlage mal an, dass wir nicht zu spät rauslassen. Aber wenn ich es jetzt rauslassen muss, ist der Gas ganz sicher. Und wir lassen Gas. Jetzt ist Johnny Final in der Runway 05. Ja, ich Speed ist noch nicht. Jetzt nehme ich es. Speed ist check. Jetzt würde ich wieder vorne rauslassen. Jetzt würde ich wieder vorne rauslassen. Up until now, I didn't need the... Didn't need the... Power, which is good. Oh, you need no power. Drop is high RPM, speed is checked, flaps. And, and speed is checked, flaps. 25, it's, which I'll be leaving for now. And speed. Yep. Ah, I wait a second, let me wait a second. 500. Checked, speed is checked. Some birds on final there, shouldn't be a bunch of near speed check flaps. Landing, landing checklist, gear down, three greens, uh, no red light, flap set, prop high RPM, landing checklist is complete, go for those, pitch for those 75 knots, uh, might just be... All is good, all is good. Good. Ay, wieder nicht hier zu der Und dann, ja, also wenn du auf dem Fahrrad... Hätte doch klappt. Okay. Oh, if you pop off. Well done, Captain Virgin.